Hi, and welcome back to another podcast with Mr. Hagen. And then on this podcast, we just continue with uh, working through the aggregate expenditure model. And so this time, we're going to do a real-world event. Uh, Federal Reserve decreases interest rates. The Federal Reserve decreases interest rates. Now, we did an interest rate uh, video earlier where we looked at how interest rates affect consumption. This time, I'm going to think about how interest rates would affect investment, how interest rates would affect planned investment. So my determinant here would be, I'm just going to say it since I'm suggesting it, would be a change in investment um, interest rates. R is going to be uh, interest rates. So what would happen? If interest rates, in this example, if interest rates go down, that will make it cheaper for companies to borrow money. You see, typically when companies are going to uh, develop a new investment project, uh, maybe they're going to, maybe have a restaurant, they're going to buy uh, uh, new ovens and other forms of capital, uh, typically they pay for that uh, by borrowing, by going into debt markets. So if interest rates are lower, then that means companies will be able to borrow more at those lower interest rates. They can increase the amount that they borrow. It's cheaper to borrow the money. And if they can increase the amount that they borrow, then they can engage in more investment uh, projects. So that's going to cause investment to rise. That's going to cause investment to go up. So if interest rates go up, Companies can borrow more, which will increase investment. If investment goes up, then that's going to shift up the curve. And remember, investment is made up of a couple things. Investment is made up of the planned investment. It's made up of capital equipment, and it's made up of uh, new construction. So if it's cheaper to borrow, companies will buy more capital. They, they will uh, uh, build more new buildings. That's going to increase investment, and that's going to shift up the aggregate expenditure curve to AE2. So that means that at this old level of production, spending is now going to be above production because of the increase in investment. That means inventories are going to begin to decline. Companies Companies are going to respond to that by increasing production until we get to our new equilibrium, until we get to our new equilibrium, uh, Y2. So the shift is going to be increased aggregate expenditures, and that's going to cause the GDP to rise. And so our rule simply is this. Uh, if interest rates increase, now we, we did decrease in this example, but if interest rates were to increase, then it would become more costly to borrow. Borrowing would go down. If interest rates go up, that means a decrease in borrowing. And if companies borrow less, then they will invest less, and then the curve will shift down. The curve will shift down. And if you decrease interest rates, on the other hand, if you decrease interest rates, then the curve will shift up. Okay, so let's say that rule one more time. Increase interest rates, curve shifts down. Decrease interest rates, curve shifts up. Thanks for joining me. This has been another podcast with Mr. Hagen, and we'll see you on the next podcast.